Now the other red light's on. That's it's blinking. You're not working. The red light is still on. Sean can't hear me. I'm not going to scream. That telephone. I left it on the fucking head. Red light's on. Can you hear me? Yes, well, the red light's on. Don't worry. Everything's cool. All being recorded on tape. You can say anything you want, Sean. I just want to record this. And I want you to tell me when that stops. Because that means it's empty. Now, we may need a hundred tapes. I have to make all the decisions, and I have to t- trust the people around me. And now I can trust you, Dr. Gorgas, to help other people who get in my condition. Because I want to get better for you. All right, so we can be together. together. We're together. Okay. I don't know who in the world could tell you who's going to be a star more than Francesca. Francesca was, you know, a, a crapshoot. Have you been doing a lot of coke? I haven't done any coke. I think Francesca was one of those dying breed of old school photographers. I need to take some drugs. He may only have to give me a light sedative because I hate drugs. All right. I don't want to be Janice Joplin. <laughs> Beautiful. Francesco does take his his religion very seriously. You can see this kind of human being and this kind of wanting good in the world in his work. Shh, come on now, just be you're not sick. How many days you take to shove it down my throat if I don't my neck is killing me? Sean, I'm dying. I'm absolutely dead. Phone is blinking. Now it went red. Red means was a good man and life goes on. See, they're not going to give a damn about you. So you have to give a damn about yourself and take care of yourself. It's all retrospective. And I'm getting out of here. And I'm a snake. And I'm dropping that old skin. And I'm coming out new and fabulous. Yeah, I just know I'm so sensitive. Mr. DeMille, I'm ready for my close-up. And I guess being a manic depressive, nobody knew it, including myself. I lived in a dream world. The light coming from the flower is so nice. Everything I love stops me from living. I still see the red light. This is what my mother used. I'm not crazy. Sean, come back here. Oh, I really was throw myself out the window. I thought I was off for another shock treatment. God, can you do me? The red light is still on. Is anyone there? Nobody even to go to the movies. The movies are empty. Can you imagine the whole thing? The whole world is full of stars. This is no Anne Frank baby stuff. This is Scavulo. Give me the psychiatrist number. Because if I start, you know, feel like I'm taking off and I have a manic elation, I don't want to jump out the window here and think I can fly. Give me the number. There's a rosebud growing out of my asshole. Nobody ever fucked me. Hello, Dr. Walton. Oh, I'm sure glad you called. They told me you were leaving on vacation at 12 o'clock, and it's 6.20 now, 
and I figured you were just gone for good. The operator up there wasn't very helpful. She said, you call once, don't call anymore, we get your message. But I just don't know what I'm taking. I think the sleeping pill is too strong, and I think the transine is too strong, and I'm walking around like a zombie. I'm trying to sleep, and I don't know whether I can sleep or I got a headache, and I cry all the time, and I call everybody daddy if they're nice to me and mommy. I'm 61 years old. I'm still looking for a mommy and a daddy. And I got my damn brothers that both stole from me. One stole my 20% in the business. The other canceled my medical insurance in October. I'd like if I could come and see you when you're back from vacation. We could find out if I'm crazy, nutty, or going through the menopause or whatever. But I don't feel afraid anymore, and the time I was going to jump out the window, and I told that to my nurse, I said, I think the devil wants me, or God wants me, and I don't want to go to either one, I want to live, so if you would call the drugstore and get me the transine and the sleeping potion, I think that would be very nice, thank you, and when you come back from vacation, if you would have a, a time to squeeze me in. I could use a little therapy, I think. But someone that you really loved and that you cared for was very, um, it was very upsetting. I mean, that puts it mildly, I wanted to save him. You know, I wanted, I wanted to wrap my arms around him. You know, there was nothing I could do. Artists have to go through life like everybody else, but in more intense, perhaps. The, the red light's still on! The red light's still on! I never had those ideas that I was an artist. I don't understand Dick Avedon. I don't understand these people that think they're artists. I think you're first a person, and second, you have a craft that you do, whether it's photography, or a shoemaker, or a plumber, or a blacksmith, or a carpenter like Jesus Christ. I never thought of being famous. I hate the word. I think that directing was wonderful for Visconti, who was rich and could do as he wanted and could be creative. And I think the movies now, I would never be a director now. I think the movies now are commercial, they're run by businessmen who want to make money. And you become a famous director and you become an artist like uh, the guy who did Schindler's List. He's suddenly a great artist because he makes a lot of money. And that doesn't, money doesn't make you a great artist. I think what makes you an artist or makes you good or makes you talented is your talent. And I think that for any young kids who, who want to be photographers, I think the most important thing is to have this terrific thing that you want to be, that you want to do it, what kind of work you want to do, and have a passion for it. Passion is what's very important, not an obsession. Not a dream of being famous, but passion. Passion is what makes the world beautiful. Passion is what makes our lives beautiful. Passion is what makes us happy. Passion is what makes us sad. Passion makes us cry. Passion makes us die. And passion makes us live. So, uh, I don't know. I think I'm, maybe I'm a passionate man. <laughs> I hope so. I can put on my tombstone. He hopes he was passionate. <laughs>